Welcome to Matzobricks. In this video, I'd like to uh, give you some information about the new infrared option of the Matzo train controller for power functions. You all know the old infrared system for Leo power functions. This was the remote control that you used for that. You remember the infrared receiver here. You may still use it on your layout as well. What you can attach to that infrared receiver is, of course, the battery box to power the stuff up. Then a Lego train motor, for example, and also available where these powered up, uh, sorry, power functions lights that you can also uh, just plug into the receiver. So you just use the uh, remote control for that. Very easy, simple to use, great system. And we can use that to automate our Lego train out. Uh, as you might have seen in the video about the Matzo train controller from a couple of months ago, Building a muscle controller is, is quite a challenging task. There's a lot of uh, uh, cables that you have uh, to care about. Uh, you have to do a lot of soldering. Uh, so that's not for everybody, of course. And uh, if you want to uh, do it in a more simple way, um, you can easily get rid, for example, um, of the motor shield, of the wiring of the LEDs and all that stuff by replacing it with that infrared receiver in the system. So basically, after all, you have a very simple Matzo controller, just a ESP8266 and an infrared LED, which you need to um, replace the remote control. And how that works, I'm going to show you now in this little train. That's a passenger train, Lego 7938. And uh, in this train, we've got the usual power function setup, a battery box from Lego power functions, an infrared receiver, and then comes the tricky part, a muscle controller. And this muscle controller is really, as I said, really simple. It's just uh, the microcontroller itself that you can buy off the shelf. Um, a little uh, power cable here, uh, which is a modified power functions cable attached directly to the battery box. Uh, and the only thing that I have uh, put onto this microcontroller is a little infrared LED. You can buy that for a couple of uh, cents anywhere. So if you have done that, uh, it tests the infrared LED here, power the shield on. You just need to switch on the power. Put all the stuff back inside. So training. And here we go. Everything closed. Now the train should be ready to go. Let's have a look at this in Rockwell. Here we've got the train already set up correctly and I'm just trying to start it off now with the manual mode and the train is going. And what you can probably also see is that we have attached some lights to the train and they are automatically switched on using the Auto light function, auto light option of the Matzo train controller for power functions in firmware version 0 0.3. Uh, I've covered that in a different video uh, last week about the Santa Fe. So if you're interested in that, just check out the other video. Let's try to turn the train around, see if it also goes into the other direction. It does. That's beautiful. Train works with the infrared receiver very easily. You can build this in probably half an hour and then you've got an automated uh, Lego train 
with a matzo controller. What is important about the infrared option for the matzo controller as well is the deployment scenario. Um, I would recommend to build the matzo controller with the infrared LED into the train. Uh, that gives you the best flexibility and it also allows you to build very large layouts. Um, but it's also possible to put the Matsu controller with a USB um, power uh, bank or some other uh, power supply just somewhere on the layout and make sure that the infrared LED has a visual connection in a direct line to your infrared receivers. That is also possible and it's an option especially for small layouts, um, but you can only use it uh, with those four different channels here. So usually um, you, would you would be able to control four trains. If you really uh, drive it uh, to the edge, then you could uh, probably try to control eight train with it using the red and blue part of those uh, in infrared receivers alternatively. Uh, but of course, um, for larger layouts, uh, it's not an option that is really going to work. Uh, so you would rather build the uh, muscle controller into the train and have the optical connection of the LED and the receiver within the train. Good. I hope you liked it and enjoyed this video. Enough of theory now. Uh, I'll show you some scenes from our last larger automated layout that we've built this Christmas. The passenger train has done a lot of miles on that layout and we've uh, tried to cover that with uh, some uh, video sequences as well. So I hope you enjoyed it. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel and also sub subscribe to my Facebook uh, channel if you want to stay up to date in terms of Lego train automation. And uh, if you want, you can also subscribe to our newsletter, which we have since uh, some uh, time now on our website matzobricks.com. Thank you very much for watching. Enjoy and goodbye.